Hey everybody, Matt with the Power Sports Room Billia Show. Thank you again for joining me. If you guys can please check out the website powersportsroomabilia.com and also visit me over there on Instagram at Powers Autographs. So today's topic is gonna be around the recent Mike Trout signing this month. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple different items that some customers had done. That way you guys can get some uh, some ideas and also check it out. You know, some customers got some really cool stuff this uh, this time around here, including this really sweet uh, artwork. I'll show you guys here at the uh, end of this. Uh, but really, really cool. Really happy with how that turned out. So uh, first off, let's talk about this bat here. Of course, uh, trout bats are always these hickory model bats. These are really, really cool. These are the, the, the model bats that he uses. And this one's got a bunch of different inscriptions on it, the Rookie of the Year, and then also his uh, three MVPs, of course, with the, the recent one here in 2019. Again, really happy how this turned out. It um, The pen just uh, really goes well on these things. Silver pen just always seems to flow well on these. And uh, I've never had one of these really turn out crappy, so I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, next one we got up here is an authentic, of course, officially licensed Angels jersey. This one's kind of interesting, and, and it was done a little bit uh, differently than I guess you would uh, normally do it. As you can see here, it's got the 2019 in the middle, followed by the uh, AL MVP uh, on the bottom. And the pen, uh, the pen turned out really good on this one. The camera kind of sucked for it. It wasn't really – silver's kind of a hard, hard picture or hard color to take a picture of sometimes on jerseys. But the pen turned out really well in person, really happy with that. And a nice signature and um, the inscription, of course, says, you know, something unique there. Something to think about the next time you get a uh, uh, jersey done with an MVP inscription. If you want to split up the years or whatnot and kind of space it out a little bit more, uh, you're, of course, feel free to do that. But really great jersey here, of course, officially licensed, authentic one. Always get these for, for Trout. These are fantastic jerseys. And MLB really makes, I think, the best, quote, unquote, authentic jersey like the players wear on the field, I think. You know, I've talked about this before, but those NFL elite ones, I'm not a huge fan of those. Just the, the weight of them is really weird, but the weight on these authentic ones is heavy. Like, you know, you can just feel like this is the type of jersey that you would be wearing on the field. Uh, next one here, we got an 8x10 photo. This one was done for, specifically for a customer. Uh, it was, uh, if I remember correctly, it was a game that he was at with um at that Fenway here so and I think it was either Trout's first home run I think at Fenway so that's why this photo was kind of important for uh for this customer here just keep in mind though this is kind of an unlicensed photo so with with Trout you always want to be sending in officially licensed stuff because obviously items are going to be MLB authenticated but for this one because I guess it was an image that he had taken they had uh, authenticated this one for him which he got pretty lucky on that one but pretty happy that they were able to uh, authenticate uh, the autograph for him on this uh, photo and next one here is i've never seen it i didn't like this before but this is like a four by six kind of little mini photo and again this is a specific item obviously the customer wanted done again pen the pen turned out really really good on this it's just hard to god i gotta get a, i gotta get a better uh, better skills on my photography sometimes but the pen turned out really well on this one's just kind of a hard one to take a picture of but uh, really happy with how this one turned out. Kind of small, you know, four by six, but it was something specific the customer wanted done and something that meant a lot to him. So uh, that's what we got done here. Uh, moving along here, these are really, really cool. We've got some all-star tickets here. Customer wanted just this one signed, and it turned out really, really solid. He wanted a nice black on there. Black flowed really well. And then he wanted the MLB authentication uh, sticker on the back of the ticket, and that's where we put it there. It's always always tricky with those tickets to where people want them. Sometimes they don't want the sticker. Sometimes they want the sticker on the back. So just a quick reminder, when you send stuff in for a signing, to make sure that you note where you want the authentication sticker or if you don't want it at all. And we got some baseballs done here. I got uh, one here with the same inscription on the bat. Uh, I actually had um, two customers get this specific item down here with the Rookie of the Year and the MVP inscriptions. Kind of a funny story on 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 uh, one of them is the uh, his ball was actually <clears throat> missed at the last signing. I guess it wasn't wasn't able to get done because they were oversold or whatnot. But so one uh, ball wasn't able to get done. But this was 
prior to his 2019 MVP. So he actually ended up getting a free uh, MVP inscription on top of that. So to update it to the 19, so it actually worked out really well for him. So I'm super happy for that. And it just, it just worked out really well for everybody in the end. Uh, but again, baseballs are the way to go, man, for inscriptions and stuff like this. I love stat balls and stuff like that. And these just make it super unique for your collection. You know, very few people are going to have this, if not be one of one. So uh, very cool stuff to, uh, to get done for your collection. And also got uh, a few single sign baseballs. Again, these are these are the best thing on trout. I, I love single sign balls. If you're not, you don't want to fork over the money on inscriptions uh, you know, for trout. Single sign balls are definitely uh, the way to go. Or all star baseballs are another good option for you. So uh, here's this thing I want to show you guys here. This here's the, this canvas here. This is a really really cool piece. The size on this thing is, like, I'm going to tell you right now, it's 30 by 30. So this thing is absolutely huge. And it was kind of a, it, it was a beast to ship. And, and let, let me break it down for you real quickly on this one. Then I'll, I'll, I'm going to explain some things here. So this thing was super expensive to ship. So we had, to, we had, we sent it in directly to the signing and then it went from the signing direct back to the customer. And rather than having to unwrap this thing and then rewrap it back up, that just that opens you up for for damage on the piece, and that's the last thing you wanted to have done. So I uh, had UPS pack this up professionally, make sure that it was perfect there. And then the customer kind of ripped a little hole out there where he wanted uh, Trout to sign on the canvas. Okay, well the problem with that was is the authenticator really kind of had nowhere to put the sticker, so the sticker kind of got put a little close to the signature. Honestly, it doesn't look terrible to me. Um, I thought it turned out really, really good. We could have had the authenticator maybe put it on the back of it, I guess. But uh, again, just something that you want to note when you send stuff in like this. If you want that hologram specifically to be somewhere, you know, you can always let me know. Then we can do the best to, to make sure that happens there. Otherwise, the authenticator is just going to put it wherever, you know, wherever he wants, basically. So, but the pen really turned out nice on this one. And uh, it's a super cool piece. Just absolutely love looking at this thing, but it was kind of a it was a challenge to get this thing signed because it's just the sheer size of it, making sure that it got to the signing correctly and that it, you know is limited of unpacking as possible to make sure that the rest of the canvas you know stayed in uh, tip top shape. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here. Here's just a couple ideas for you on you know Mike Trout. We'll be doing another signing with him in 2020, uh, right around spring training time. So if you want to get notified on that, head on over to Power Sports Memorabilia. Dot com and you can get signed up for email notifications all right guys that's it for this video and i will see you guys on the next one thanks again